semua. Saya nak tanya, siapa penama Su TV? Wah, magic tu nama Su TV. <tuh> tak, maksud saya pernah dipaparkan dalam apa-apa program TV. Ha, saya pernah beberapa kali. Tapi masa uh, masa tu saya kecil lah. Hai tu, saya tengok video-video lama dalam laptop mak saya. Ada video saya masuk TV tu. Jadi, saya nak tunjuk kat sini lah. Kelakar pun nak saya tengok. Okay, uh, dulu kan ada satu saluran TV ni nama je NTV7. Sekarang, NTV7 ni dah tak wujud. Rasanya dah diambil alih oleh Kementerian Pendidikan Malaysia. NTV7 dah jadi bilik TV. Masa NTV7 ada dulu, mak saya cakap ada macam-macam rancangan best lah. Salah satu rancangan tu ialah Bella NTV7. Bella NTV7 ni satu English talk show khas untuk wanita. Masa tahun uh, 2013 hingga 2015, Bella NTV7 ni memang popular betul lah. Ni mak saya yang cakap tau, saya masa tu kecil lagi tak main je. Okay. Masa tu, mak saya banyak kali jugalah dipanggil untuk muncul secara live dalam rancangan Bella NTV7 uh, ni sebagai talent jemputan. Jadi, saya pun kena tempis juga dapat peluang. First time, uh, saya masuk TV uh, pada bulan 9 uh, 2013, mak saya kena interview live dengan Elaine Gelly. Dalam Bella and TV7 Saya pun kunci juga dalam TV Tapi masa gambar ni Good morning everyone Our people opted to have children only late in life Due to the rising cost of living And how can we plan ahead to have enough expenses to have a child We'll be discussing this more on Bella today Everyone, welcome back to Bella Confidential with me, Elaine Daly. Now, I mentioned earlier that 10 years ago, people said by the time your kid reaches university, you would have already spent 1.5 million ringgit on them. Now, that was 10 years ago. Now, I'm sure the figure has escalated tremendously. So, we'd like to say, um, to ask these two women about them raising their children. So, we'd like to say a very good morning to Juanita Binti Johari, who's a mother of three. And we've got Rose Ibrahim, who's a mother of two. Good morning. Welcome to the show. Good morning. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm good. Quite okay. So, of, we're talking about financial issues and money here. How expensive is it? I mean, are you stressed out every day or are you comfortable already with you and your husband's salary that you don't really have to worry about? Yeah, we are not comfortable. It's very expensive uh, in terms of like um, to fulfill their needs. Like mm. recently we, uh, we have a baby and the item, basic items like disposable diapers. Yeah, how much would it cost a month? I mean, oh on an God. average. Wow. We're just yeah, curious. 100 to 400. Just for the susu mm. and the diapers yeah. and, and all uh-huh. that. Tak kira lagi doctors, yeah. pills, no. No. injections. Medical expenses, not yet. Education. Education. Kali kedua pula, uh, pada bulan 10, 2013, mak saya kena interview live dengan Daphne uh, Aikin uh, kat studio Bella NTV7. Okay, masa ni saya pun masuk TV sejalan juga. Saya dan beberapa orang muda kena interview dengan Devin Aikin juga. <SILENCIO> Tapi mak saya cakap saya macam panik dalam masa tu. Bila saya tanya saya angguk-angguk gering-gering je. Yelah ada tiga kamera filem yang besar kot menghala kat saya dalam tujuh bila TV7 tu. Serius segam. Ada apa ya masa saya masuk TV tu ya? Saya rasa tajuk reading habit kot. Saya sebenarnya tak ingat pun saya pernah masuk TV. Masa tu umur saya 5 hingga 6 tahun je kan? Memang tak ingat pun. Parents play the most important role in their children's life. Reading habits among children can be cultivated at a young age. So make sure you stay tuned. Good morning, 
welcome to Bella Society with me, Daphne Iking. Today's topic is something that is very dear to me. I just had this discussion with some friends over drinks last week about the reading habits among all these youngsters out there. With us, we've got um, uh, our very own experts to showcase or to tell us a little bit more about their views and concerns with regards to reading. So it gives me great pleasure to invite my experts for this morning. We've got uh, Tessa. We've got Hanafi, we've got Isa, as well as young Zachary here. Now, Tessa and Hanafi are both nine-year-olds, and we've got Isa and Zachary, who are five. Hello, children. Welcome to the show. How are you feeling? Good. You're feeling good? Remember what Auntie told you just now? It's all about 100%. So are you feeling good? Yeah. Ah, that's much better. Now, okay, my concern is Auntie has a daughter who's about about Zachary and Isa's age actually, she's about five years old and I'm a little bit concerned because she doesn't like to read. Do you do you all like to read? Yeah. You love to read? Okay, um, Tessa, what is your favorite book? Nancy Drew. Nancy Drew, go for it, give me five. So you like you like that Nancy Drew and uh, it's an adventure story and you like you know exploring adventures with her, right? Is, is that your first book that you explored or do you remember your first book? No. You can't remember your first book. Okay. Hanafi, how about you? What is your favorite book? The Eco Kids. Eco Kids. So you're very much into the environment. You like saving the environment and looking after the eco. Is that is am I right am I getting the right eco kids? Is that little slim book with the two the family of Kiko, family friendly. That's the one, right? Yes. Oh phew, okay, I'm not that bad. And Isa, Isa, what was the latest book that you've read? What's the young Palin Baru Baru Isa uh Bacha? Mm -hmm. You were sharing with Auntie just now. Which book was that? Yang Rama Rama. Is that the, the latest book that you read? Yes. Yes? How do you like it? You like that book? Yes. Suka. Suka. And uh, Zachary. Zachary, I understand that you started reading at a very young age. When, how, how young were you when you started reading? Mm, one years old. You were one years old. Okay. Okey, kali ketiga dan last saya masuk TV ialah pada bulan 5, 2014. Mak saya kena interview live dengan Daphne Aikin lagi uh, dengan Bella at TV7. Tapi masa ni, gambar saya je lah yang dipaparkan kira masuk TV juga lah kan? Itu sahajalah pengalaman saya masuk TV. Lepas tu, dah tak pernah masuk TV. Eh, saya ada cuba masuk TV sekali lagi kot Tapi tak berjaya Tahun 2020, sebelum pandemik COVID-19 uh, Saya pergi audition untuk acangan Dinasi Z Audition tu buat kat Sri Pentas TV3 Ramai betul yang datang uji bakat Dinasi Z tu Selebriti kanak-kanak yang terkenal pun ada datang Jadi susah lah orang macam saya ni nak bersaing Okay, itu sahajalah pengalaman saya masuk TV Okay, bye-bye